Hey there, everyone. This is Zaukao playing. <laughs> oh, A2XT Gaiden 2. What a wonderful travel log this has been. And reality has cheated, giving the Christmas time. Look at that. Does the circle have been increasingly getting bigger? Or is that just a feature of going on this part of the map? I think it's just a feature of this building. Like, the concentric circles are huge and epilogue. Alright, let's see what this is. I don't know what to expect. It could just be a cutscene. Victory for Eigen! It could be a level? Well, I can play, so it's a start. <laughs> Whoop! Oh! Oh, this is interesting. So these are actual words uh, from the head organizer. I also always assume it would stay very modest, and not gonna lie, I like the very modest version. <laughs> from what I've heard, Susie has been getting pretty hands-off in the digital era of the advent. But it still wouldn't be possible without you. If the digital part becomes as involved and there's also physical gifts in the Valzo, I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. Honestly, I do not know how I would be able to handle it. <laughs> okay, that text advanced on its own. That wasn't me. <laughs> that was whoever set this up. I am not to blame. Or is this representative of that? They're just going at it. Man, uh, imagine having so many opinions about something. 93, I was 10 years old. <laughs> when the eyes start rolling up involuntarily, that's when the subject should be dropped. <laughs> about platformers. <laughs> Ah, that used to be absolutely true in my channel, and it still is, for what it's worth. <laughs> alright, hey SA Jewers. How's it going? Oh, alright. So you're part of the organizing team? Remember how during it, there was a sense where it was important to make the levels make sense with an- okay. I feel like I need to read this out loud. In response to the tags for Rao Kao's video on day 6, tags. I remember how during e 2 there was a sense where it was important to make the levels make sense within themselves and to out avoid outward references and whatnot. These are the exact opposite, and I love it. This is true, I did wrote that, I didn't remember it was at video 6, but... I knew going into this year that I wouldn't be able to do as much and personally not want to saddle others with more work, partially after seeing the ASMT redo LP, that I figured as long as the level isn't total garbage and break anything, anyone who wants to submit a level should be able to do largely whatever and whatever plot could be written to fit. But in both, uh, both it worked out and you enjoyed it. No kidding. Hey, we're gonna keep chatting. Her now annoyance I had some music not playing right was an issue with Smebex's 2 audio system. I had that issue during Megal X3 a few times too. You gotta be careful if you got like custom volume set. The success of the Advent Collab this year and lastly similar casual things in the future with other engines. <laughs> Can't wait for next time being entirely within a Doom mod. For all the games I have to play, I'll play at least three. <laughs> that's the plan. These are changing each time, and that's funny. Like the, I want to get out of this conversation. Chat, Angel, you're a little slurb. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, I don't have Discord notification anywhere, though. Uh, Crumbs, Chris. You know, everyone listening, are able to spend time and relax, coral matter. Yeah, that is the absolute most important, especially at this time of year. At the end, winter starting. 
days are gonna start getting a little bit longer, which matters for some of us that are in particularly close to the poles. Now watching a video of some Canadian YouTuber reading this message I wrote at the start of the month. Uh, have your opinions changed since then? Oh, anyone enjoy this year's Christmas and I, I, I hope so too. Like, they were intense this year. I feel like we've reached an unprecedented level of just sheer intensity. I think it's just because of ease of Steam. Like, it just makes it easy. I don't know if that's it, but... Whoa. Co-conspirators is a good you good word to use. Camera go right! <laughs> Wait a sec. No, yeah, that was all in Crimsley. Yeah. Top 10 Pilly Game Trivia! Sponsored for the vast majority of cuts. Whoa! Well, I, I should have known. Like, you're a really funny guy. You wouldn't believe how much I learned about ripping by making scenes for Spyro, Iconoclast, Super Meat Boy, Rock the Road, and Gato Roboto, Mega Man X, X Vent, Fall Night, and Soldexas. Maelstrom cutscene is the first cutscene I made. Kind of makes sense. Like, you're a big fan of uh, Owl Boy. Snort Pyro, with helping finding fish. That's right. If you like Day 20's Creep Highway, you should really play 2021 Chocolate Contest. Code is all from Seven Named Sam's. What does Chocolate Contest mean in Smebex? I guess it's like full out Lua stuff, right? Because I always thought that Smebex was particularly open to like changing graphics and stuff fairly easily. But I guess you can go full on chocolate. One cutscene I remember as having scrap due to lack of access to relevant resources was a ghost trick cutscene, which certainly involved Ca Cabanella doing his little dance in Smebet. Oh, oh, the work that that would involve. Around the government agent Kia Tenpwin from the Tenpwin clan who had fought Den Zyvir in, in the pick battle. He's not easy! <laughs> I also wanted to make a Spectre Night Bomb at some point, but yeah, you know, you work way too much, I would argue, on this. Like, it is nuts, the amount of time you had. Shout out Kickback from Yoko's Island Express, who also didn't make the cut due to sprites just being impossible to find. I guess I never really thought of that, huh? Like, now that I'm playing less retro game, yeah, there's gonna be less retro resources. One gameplay mechanic that I didn't find any primary use was that the cannonball move and the hammer suit form acts as a screw attack on you to propel yourself through enemies. I did not know. Spam ad. Character's hiding in a trash. Oh, uh. I don't know if I remember. I don't remember someone hanging in the trash. Oh. Oh. Well, I appreciate the thought and I love that you're at least mentioning it here. Talk to is Baron, and I love him so much. I abandoned Fuzzy Kind. Uh, so that that name here is Baron. All right, little slimy, polka dotty friend. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of trivia. <laughs> Whoa! Now that you mention it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, you were directly responsible for Owlboy. I, I'm, I'm putting your blame in there, too. <laughs> I mean, I always enjoy seeing your contribution out there. You are a very talented individual. And, like, it's not just well-made. It's normally very clever and just plain old fun, so... And I get that. Hey, that's... no, there was no chills. Don't worry about it. Here's like dull-edged swords, some more double-edged than others. That's fair. Man, that's a fantastic idea. Oh, going to Japan, huh? Uh, that's just, that's just nice. I immediately regret, cause y'all know I can't take good words good. I, you're, um, you're, yeah, you are Rixie. I just, I had a moment of doubt because we just saw the text for like half a second by accident. 
We're using Kyoko for this game and making a new fully custom character. Well, honestly, you exploited all of Pilly's little things, like, to the bone. Is that a real expression? <laughs> it is now. Try an alternative uh, to the way SmackDown handles power-up state graphics. Uh-huh. Yeah, so instead you have, like, an aura happen. Which was honestly pretty smart. That's fair. How about another thing? Yeah, no, this is all absolutely true. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like it's just enough to be different without being alienating, you know? Like, you found a really good balance. I feel like you're basically there. Like, if you stripped away everything Mario, which you could, although it would take significant work, uh, you would have just, you know, you would have a video, you would have something you could put on Steam or something without any, like, legal shenanigans. Well, that, that first sentence kind of fell apart. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> That's true. I I I had sort of a blip the first time it happened, but it was introduced in such a goofy way that I think it passed as being really funny. Yeah, 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 and you were right with that. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Rixie thoughts. Here we go. They just feel like so much work, too. <laughs> uh huh. Wow, really? Yeah, like, I I wonder what is the correct tack to take for 2022. <laughs> and, you know, like, some... Take some time for yourself. Though, I mean, like, if, if you enjoy doing this, like, it's fine. But, like, I always wonder, you know? Like, I'm sure there's other things than my orbit that you could do interesting things for. Yeah, look at that bird though. Oh, that is an amazing combination of color. All right, bird per hour. One day they're gonna run out of birds though. <laughs> Thank you, Rixie and others for make. Like a thousand folds. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I guess I can talk to you, bartender. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I kind of ignored you in case you were going to be my exit out of here. But there's an actual door and... Let's take a look. Yeah, this kind of keeps going, actually. So, ooh, jukebox. Oh, gee, oh. That's neat. <laughs> Media regret. I just went at one at random. Perfect, perfect. I hit the jackpot. Thank you, absolute madness. That is chaos. Merry Christmas! Me and you! Uh, 
Maybe we will, Chaoxus. You So you don't have any men. You have that one thing to say, and I get that. Sturga. Sup! It's all good. <laughs> all right! The sweet free water. Figurative water. That's even better. Hey, Serac, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty fantastic. He gets you, huh? Shimada Tenkyu? Hi, uh, Garish, what up? <laughs> Playing a slime based Mario platformer. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't know who these names are. <laughs> oh, that that's happening on its own. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're from the newer Toho game. Okay, yeah, I'm not as familiar with, you know, the, the later generations of Toho. But, okay, you saying that is all I needed. Hey, Cecil. Having a sleep. Having a nap. Hey, Coco. Footage of those giant creatures. I wonder what that means. I feel totally lost. The old aggressive. Uh, oh, it's Coco and Co. That's pretty funny, though. Oh, it's the same. Yeah, I don't understand what that's a reference. Like, I'm just completely brain farting. Footage of giant creatures. Like, what is that related to? I cannot tell. Oh, man. Well, that was real nice. At the dinner. Well, someone's gonna take all these boxes if we just leave them there. Oh, yeah, that's where the scene was. At the end there. Yeah, like, what's up with that, robot duck? That's just here? I guess I've gotta acknowledge you're a robot duck here? Yeah, it is my happy boxing day, everyone. No, it's right now. I don't know what's going on with the music here, but it's jamming. Tam. Alright, secret post game boss, here we go. My Apire Ludgies. I don't understand that. I mean, I know it's Apologies, but what? Oh, you're making like weird fire puns here. I love that my hesitation to press the button to continue just made it so much more awkward. Oh, and we've never heard of Pilly for a while. Knowing that she would be good, best good back. <laughs> Coming 2020X. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, that was delightful. I do wonder, like, I I am looking, like, if these are a preview of the sort of thing to expect from a full-fledged game, like, I feel like as the years go by, expectations, like, are just kind of zooming, though. Like, to a point where I wonder if they're realistic, but... I, I've, I've, uh, I don't know what to say at this point, though. Like, this was really nice, actually. Getting so personal with some of the key people involved is not something you get often a chance to do within the game itself. And that felt really nice, you know, just a moment to, to just grace 
the the human side, the humanness of people with which we've been indirectly involved for a month now, and that's just this game, this Advent game, not counting other contributions, the many of them they've made in the past. Uh, this is thank you to everyone who got involved, as little or as much as you did, and thank you for everyone who watched. Everyone who watched basically anything I've done this year in 2021. Uh, this is Ao Cow, and uh, join me next time when, I don't know, honestly at this point, who does know?